Dream Report has an extensive set of native communication drivers for reporting on various automation platforms, HMI SCADA systems, process historians, and open industrial protocols. Additionally, Dream Report can report on open data sources such as SQL databases, CSV files, and Excel spreadsheets. In this video tutorial, we'll take a look at the approaches to working with SQL databases as a data source for your Dream Report projects. There are three approaches to working with SQL databases. The first is by using the Dream Report communication drivers. There are several drivers available for database-based historical values and alarms. The basic ODBC historical values and historical alarms drivers use an ODBC connection to map into a table or view in your database. The advanced ODBC historical values driver provides the same functionality as the ODBC historical values driver, but with several additional options. Direct and OLEDB-based connections, in addition to ODBC connections, are supported. The ability to build or use your own custom SQL views on the data. And we also provide a visual query builder to help you build the query. And create separate queries for tag name browsing and the data queries. The OLEDB historical values and historical alarms drivers use an OLEDB connection to map into a table or view in your database. This requires no external ODBC data source name to be created. The second two approaches do not use any of the Dream Report communication drivers. Rather, direct SQL queries are executed against the database tables, views, or stored procedures to return data to tables, charts, expressions, and other reporting objects. With Lua script function calls, you can call SQL queries with an expression object or as part of a larger Lua script. Lua is the open source scripting language that Dream Report supports. So, which approach should you use? The first and most compelling reason to use communication drivers is that they require no SQL knowledge. Through a simple mapping process, Dream Report exposes all database fields as tags in the tag browser, just as if they were tags coming from an HMI, a PLC, or a historian. The only requirement is that the data must be timestamped, either historical values or historical alarms. If you need to apply additional filtering to the data, the report objects support this. Direct SQL queries should be used when complex queries across multiple tables are required to get the data in a format that's needed for reporting. Additionally, SQL stored procedures must be called through direct SQL queries. Other reasons for using direct queries are if the data is not timestamped, or if you need to create dynamic queries, where the end user might make several selections on the Dream Report web, and based on their selections, the SQL query is dynamically built and returns the specific fields that the user selects. Additionally, a direct query is one of the ways to populate a combo box on the Dream Report web portal. Using the Lua SQL function calls allow you to execute SQL queries as part of a larger Lua script where you might need to use the queried result in the script. There are a few licensing considerations when deciding which approach to use. The Dream Report ODBC or OLEDB historical communication drivers require the full Dream Report license, which includes all available drivers. If using an OEM version of Dream Report, such as Dream Report for Wonderware, for GE, for SciTech, etc., only those OEM's drivers are included with the license, so you won't have access to the open communication drivers needed for the SQL databases. When mapping to a field using one of the ODBC or OLEDB drivers, each field counts towards the project's tag count, but once you've referenced a field, it's only counted once, regardless of how many times it's used in the project. Direct SQL queries will work with both the full and OEM versions of Dream Report. As with the ODBC communication drivers, each field return counts towards the project's tag count. However, querying the same field multiple times, for instance, in different reporting objects or different reports, will add to the project's tag count each time that field is referenced. But the MES license option, which can be added to any Dream Report license, allows for an unlimited number of fields from direct SQL queries. This is useful when working with large databases or if the number of fields needed is unknown at the start of the project. Before configuring the ODBC or OLEDB communication drivers, it's important to understand how the table was structured in the database. In most databases, we need to consider two different table formats, which in Dream Report are described as wide or column item table structures and a narrow or any DB structure. In this first table, we see the fields or columns arranged in a column item structure. In addition to a date and time column, each column contains data for a specific tag or item. This is known as a wide formatted table. 
In the second table, we see that the fields are arranged in a narrow or any DB structure, where the tag names don't each have their own field, but are rather logged as part of the record. This is more of a generic table structure. DreamReport is aware of these different table structures, which you identify when configuring the DreamReport ODBC driver instance. These table structures are completely abstracted from the user when creating the reports, and then all table or view fields are presented as tags, just as if they came from any tag-based data source. Finally, let's look at the basic steps when using either approach. For DreamReport ODBC communication drivers, you first configure the driver once, for each database table or view being used. Then, when configuring DreamReport objects, reference the ODBC drivers as an external history server data source, and then all fields will be exposed through the tag browser. For direct SQL queries, first create a common database connection in the DreamReport DSN manager. Then, either build a direct SQL query or call a stored procedure in each reporting object, or create a library of queries in the DreamReport SQL manager and then reference those from any reporting object that supports a SQL query. For more information on creating reports in DreamReport and many other reporting topics, be sure to view our other video tutorials. Thank you.